In today's video, I'll be teaching you on how to create a basic website using Adobe Plus CS3 Professional. Okay, so this is the sample website or web page that I created earlier ago, and then I'll display it with you or show it to you how to do this step by step. Okay, so pressing Ctrl Enter key will preview the output of the Adobe Plus CS3 Professional. So here is the sample. So I have created four buttons, namely the home, the about, the gallery, and the vicinity map. So the home page represent this one. The about page represent the content in the about, the gallery, and the vicinity map. So we start. Let's create a blank template from the create new under Adobe Plus CS3 Professional. So click new and then we need to change first the properties of the states. So click the size and change the width to 900 by 600 pixels. So color background is white and the frame rate or the speed of the frames per second should be 30 frames per second and next click the ok button okay so to display the entire stage so click the view and then select fit in window so this will be the target output of the class so next First, we need to create or add four different layers. So from here, click insert layer three times. One, two, three. So to create four individual layers. So on the topmost layer, double click and then name it the pages or the page or pages. So this will be the holder where we want to in-house all the displayed sample page for the link button. Press enter key. And the next one will be the menus. Menus. And the second layer will be your background. And the first layer will be our action script or the AS. Shortcut for the action script. Okay. So next, we need first to create the design output based from this one. And then, we create the rectangle. So click rectangle tool and then project one rectangle object. Next, select the object and then press control positive to zoom in. Okay. So change the fill color to white and the stroke line should be the black one. So next we need to create a title. So click text tool and then change the color to black and then the size will be 15 or 14 or 13. So let's try 14 and then press enter key and click on the stage so type the title home and then click selection tool align the specific level of the button double click the button the rectangle resize using the free transform tool for the height and for the width okay so next select the button rectangle and the text to label so click modify select convert to symbol and then select button type and then click the ok button okay so press ctrl negative to zoom out and then use the hand tool to scroll upward then let's zoom it a little bit closer okay so next use the selection tool click Press Ctrl D to duplicate and then move downward. Duplicate, move downward, 
and then duplicate then move downward oops sorry so select click drag okay so we have four buttons with the same label so we need to change th those labels so highlight the three then press ctrl b break apart next rename every buttons from the home original name of the button and then change it to about by selecting the text tool and then highlighting the content of the original text or label type about okay sorry so press ctrl z so we need to use the left align and then type about next select the second one the third one so home about and then highlight by using the text tool left align and then gallery so selection tool hand tool move upward text tool and then the vicinity map vc oops sorry control z left align and then vicinity map okay so now we have already completed the four different buttons identical buttons so next we need to convert again the about button by highlighting the entire button of the about click modify select convert to symbol and then select button click ok the gallery same thing highlight modify break uh, convert to symbol click ok and lastly the vicinity map modify convert to symbol and then click ok individually we have already created the four different buttons so next we need to adjust the distance between those buttons to be of the same distance okay so press ctrl enter to check if the button are already in equal distance so i think this one is very big enough for the distance and also this one so we need to adjust so click arrow up once another one okay and highlight the three scroll up and then arrow up three times one two three okay next we need to create an instance name for this button the first one is button one which is the home second is about the third is gallery and the last one is the vicinity map so for now we need to click the home and then create an instance name which is button small letter button 1 next is the about button 2 next is gallery type button 3 next one is the vicinity map button okay so that will be the name of its button the instance name so next we need to create a holder where we want to display the content of each button once we click so highlight these three four buttons and then move at the left side until it reaches the equal size is equal distance between left and the top margin next it should okay so this button should be transferred to the menus layer so copy ctrl c ctrl x then we transfer that content into menus click the menus layer and then ctrl shift b paste and paste next click the rectangle tool to create the holder and then lock the menus and then click the pages so the pages will be the holder for all the content of each button so click drag to generate or create a box or a rectangle and then change the background click the fill color effects of that rectangle the black one and then change it to white or the gray so it should be a lighter color okay and then this will be our and now this will be our layout for the simple flash based website okay so we can change the color for the background 
we can use the image background color or we can use the image type of background it's up to us if what type of images that we want to use it could be a jpeg a bmp a pcx or a gif okay so later we can insert background color so lock this background color and then next to it we need to copy the two frame the layer page pages and the layer menus from layer one uh, no from the time timeline one so click the pages layer uh, the, uh, click the pages frame and also holding down the shift key while clicking the menus okay so this way we want to completely copy this object right click and then select copy frame so this one will serve as your introductory page then click on the second frame hold down shift key while clicking the lower sec or lower or the second frame after the uh, before the pages click and then right click and select paste frame so click again hold and shift right click right click and then select paste frame so one two three click hold and shift right click now click again and right click paste frame so one two three four so we have one two three four so the first frame will serve as your introductory the second one will serve as the page one third third one page two and the fourth one will be page three so for now we need to create a name for every pages so click this one the first frame of the pages and then type the name for the uh, frame type give an inst label for this frame and then type page one so continue the process on the next frame by incrementing the page number click page two click page three oops page three and lastly click page four so as you notice there is a flag stop representing colors this one is representing for the calling on the buttons once you click it should stop there go there and stop on playing so which means once we click a specific button it will automatically be connecting once we click the buttons individual buttons from the menus it will jump to this flag stop so this one is the page one page two page three and page four okay so next check again click this button okay it was locked and lock first so click button one button two button three button four so next we go back to the action script layer click the timeline frame one then let's check the codes from the original so click window select action and then highlight everything in here to copy the code right click and then copy close the action script go to the untitled tab save first the document by pressing ctrl s and then typing a file name where typing a file name and locate where we want to save the document assuming what at the desktop and then type the file name sample sample web space web web 
underscore LAS representing sample web page or website for LAS press the enter key okay next open the window and then select actions so this time we need to paste everything from the uh, previous program by pressing ctrl B so it, it, it will uh, it will automatically paste it on the script and then let's check or pressing ctrl enter key will check if the code are running correctly press ctrl enter okay so you will notice that this one is not working is because we forgot to include at least name or content for every button okay so let's close first and close this one and then this will be the home base so on the pages click the pages lock the menus and lock the action script so from here select text tool and then select the color black and type control positive capital letter enable the caps lock uh, intro duck zone Okay, so select the pointer tool, change the size of the font to 50, press the enter key, and then align it at the center of the frame, uh, the stage. Okay, so this one will do introduction page. Next, on the second page, we need to create a text tool, a label for this, and then let's check or create about oops it should not be white it should be something which is red and then type about okay so click the selection tool click the next one third one and then type select text tool and then type gallery Okay, selection tool move this one click the fourth one and then selection tool change the color green and then type vicinity map okay so select the pointer tool selection tool and then change the color it's because it is not visible so this one we will do mm -hmm. okay and then let's check pressing ctrl enter key oops that's not ctrl enter that's ctrl key okay so let's try clicking each button if it is working about it's work gallery it's working and vicinity map so as you notice all of the buttons are working properly okay so you can paste the code uh, located above the comment section and for you to be able to use or utilize the programming the code of the program paste the sample script located above the comment section and paste it on your script layer so you can add images from the background this one will be the reserved one then save the file pressing ctrl s and press ctrl enter to double check the result or the output about gallery vicinity map home close and then thank you Hope you enjoy the basic action script available on Adobe Flash CS3 Professional. Thank you.